If it's enchanting you want, the enchantress will do a fine job of that. She lives in the far eastern edge of the village, up in the mountains. Not too far to climb. Not for someone with a head as small as yours, at least. I don't think I could ever make it. I suppose we should probably head up there then, and see if we can't find this enchantress. First though, I'm a little hungry, Alfred. I don't know about you, but I think I could use a snack. Actually, I do know about you, Alfred. You, you, you never really eat anything at all. So I'm not really too worried about you. I wonder if there's any food around this joint. A large chest? Completely empty. Well, then why do they have it? Mrs. I'm not stealing your food, Mrs. I don't know what you're talking about. Get us some bread. Hello, John. Some steak. Oh. It's good to see you again. I hope everything is going well in your quest. I'm hard at work on it. I uh, just stopped in for some food. I uh, hope she doesn't think we're slacking off in the job here. Alright, so... Far east of town, I believe, is what I was told. Let's head that way. So I believe the sun rises over here. I don't... Don't really know for certain what time it is, either. It's so foggy out here. Some old ruins. Looks like another pass. Ah, stairs. Alrighty, let's let's break out Dead Man's Smite. And it looks like the path splits. Always follow the right. That's what I've always been told during mazes. Always go to the right. That is the right way to go. Except for in this situation. Oh, what is that? That's strange. Red stone. Hmm. Never heard of that before. Oh, am I stuck in here? Ah. That was strange. Guess my boot got caught or something. Oh, the city looks interesting from here. Sort of blue on the horizon. Alright. I guess we should head up this stair. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't notice how high we were. I don't know, Alfred. I don't really like being on the sides of mountains. I had that flashback to when my college buddies drove off the side of a cliff one time. Oh, it's horrible. I don't want to think about it. Oh, this is going to be fun. <sighs> Alright, well, maybe it wasn't a cliff. Maybe it was a, a ditch. I don't know. From what I understand, they thought it was a cliff. They were screaming about it even when the paramedics showed up. I think one one guy actually bruised his eyeball. Didn't know you could bruise your eyeball, but... Right. So... Ah. This looks like the kind of place an enchantress would live, I guess. I mean, I don't never met an enchantress. Well, there was that one time in grade school. Oh. Ander Gain. Hi, I'm sorry, Mr. Gain. I was actually looking for someone by the name of, uh, the Enchantress? Oh, that's me. I take it you were sent here by the smith? Yes, but the way he talked about you, I thought... That I was a woman, yes, yes. He... <sighs> he often confuses me with one. I... I don't understand why. I'm sorry about that. Oh, after a while, you get used to it. I know who you are, though. I... I've seen a lot about you. I'm sorry, you've seen a lot about me? Oh, I... N never mind. I take it you're here to get your sword enchanted? Yes, actually. How did you- I'll be happy to do it, in exchange for a few... ingredients. Really? Why does everyone think that I need to pay them for this stuff? You realize I'm trying to save you from being blown up, right? Oh, I know, I know. I'm not trying to make any profit out of this, it's just... There are some things that I'll need. Well, alright then, what are you after? I will need three ingredients. A golden carrot, some pumpkin seeds, and a piece of coal. Any idea where I can find any of that? No. But you seem like a bright lad from what I've seen. What exactly have you seen? Best of luck now. Hmm. Well, alrighty then, let's... Let's go get after this, man. You know, Alfred, I could pummel you up and get your pumpkin seeds out. Ha! <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. That would. That wouldn't be. That wouldn't be cool. I. I wouldn't do that to you, buddy. I mean, after all the time we've spent together, especially out there in the ocean, I did 
almost turn you into a pumpkin pie out in the ocean. But I didn't. That's the important thing. Now, let's see. Coal. We can, we can definitely... Whoa! Chicken. Chicken. Don't really guess that matters at all. I know we can probably get coal from Smith Gregor, so we should go talk to him first. And we'll see what he says about the subject. I'm sure he wouldn't mind lending us just a piece of coal. He's pretty cool about that sort of thing. So we'll just we'll just have to ask him about that. Ah, good to see you again, lad. I'm not quite finished with the armor though. What you doing back here so early? Well, actually, I was wondering if you had a piece of coal I could borrow. I do, for a price. Hey now. <laughs> I'm just a little messing with you, laddie. Sure, you can borrow some coal. Anything else you need? Well, actually, do you know where I can get some pumpkin seeds? Pumpkin seeds? Mmm, that ought to be pretty easy. There's a farmer across the way from here. You can get seeds from there. And what about a golden carrot? Now that might be a little bit more complicated. I check the burnt down ruins next to my shop here. That's where the old inn used to be. They had all sorts of food imported from around the world. No, no, no one ever bought any of it, because no one had any money. And to be honest with you, most of it was stale, since there haven't been imports in these parts for mm, thousands of years, I guess. But yeah, if you're gonna find a golden carrot, it'd probably be there. Right across from you, huh? I guess that's his house over there. Well, I guess we can head there, but first let's head to the the old hotel, since it's it's right here. And we're looking for a carrot? I mean, I don't, I don't know when this place burned down. But what are the odds a carrot survived? I mean, honestly. Nope. No, 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 no. Ah! Golden carrot. Well, believe it or not, this isn't the strangest thing I've ever found. Alright, let's head over to the, the farmer. And see if we can perhaps... Well, I won't say borrow a pumpkin seed. Just, um... Let's just go see if we can steal one. Because I don't know if I want to bargain with this guy. He looks kind of... Kind of rough. What's your, farmer Duncan. Uh, I see the I, I see the pumpkins right there. I don't mm, don't look at me like that. Let's just let's just go take a pumpkin, and just so there's no confusion about who is who, Alfred. I'm gonna set you right up here until we're done. Well, maybe I can't. I'll throw you down back there. Hold on, buddy. Let's go ahead and get this guy up. I hope you don't. I hope he's not like your cousin or something. That would be pretty bad. Alright, I think that's everything. We've got the, the golden carrot, the coal, the pumpkin seeds. I'm going to keep those away from you. I don't want you to have to see them. Let's get back up there and see what kind of sword we're going to be getting. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Got to get back up this mountain though. If I, I find that if I just kind of keep myself looking up, it's not quite as bad. Maybe because I can't actually see the grounds. What's this tricky part again? Oh, There we go. Okay. Oof, I'm telling you, I don't do good with heights. Never have. Ah, uh, welcome back. Uh, I take it you were able to find everything. Yeah, it was actually pretty easy. Mm, well, that's good. Uh, please go ahead and hand over the ingredients. Say, what did you want this stuff for, anyway? Oh, this is going to be for my supper later. What? Are you serious? Oh, hush now. A fellow's got to eat. Now let me see that sword of yours. This should only take a second. Ah, there we go. This sword will destroy any dead thing that comes your way. I'm fairly confident of that. And how many dead things do you reckon I'll have to fight? Oh, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I'm going to have to say quite a few. Well, that's comforting. Your quest until now has been fairly straightforward, but things are about to get much, much more difficult. You say that like you know what's ahead. Let's just say I have a way of seeing things, and the future is not completely bright for you. Well, this just keeps getting better and better.